Hey guys, I feel like it's been a while since I've shared anything on here and had a chat with you about something other than homeschool and about curriculum. So I was coming out to my garden to plant some tomatoes today in our greenhouse and I thought I'd give you a look at how the garden is doing. So our garden, we live in zone 5B. We just passed our last frost date a few days ago, but the weather's looking a little iffy, so I'm giving it another week before I fully plant everything out. But I'm gonna give you a look at what we already have planted and how it's doing. So here are the tomatoes, as well as some marigolds I started from seed that I'm gonna be planting out here. I have all my stuff here. I, I apologize, I am in the midst of a cold right now, so please forgive the voice and the stuff nose. So our chives are doing, I mean, amazingly. I had to transplant our green onions as well as our garlic chives back here, but they're all doing really well. The rhubarb I've already harvested and it's done well. I had some extra onions I started from seed and so I just put them here where I had extra space and they're doing okay. <laughs> We're starting to get flowers along the edge. You can see a few over there that are blooming. In our strawberries, it's so exciting because they are already blooming this out. We've got lots of blooms here. So our strawberries are growing. And then over here, this is our first year doing garlic and it's done so well. It is two feet high maybe. The only place that didn't germinate was this little patch right here. Every other one germinated, which is fantastic. So I'm really excited about that. Now, if you didn't see on Instagram, we did get three hog panel arches this year, which I'm really excited about. I know in the U.S., like, hog panels, T-bars are so cheap. They're not in Canada. <laughs> not at all. So we had to just do three. Uh, maybe in the future years we'll be able to add some more here. We shall see. In the greenhouse. So I have... My cucumbers and squash are all ready to be planted. However, like I said, I'm waiting a few days. So I just have them kind of in the middle in their pots. <laughs> so they're not staying there. But what is planted is there's watermelon and um, cantaloupe at the very back there. I wasn't planning to do so many. However, my seeds didn't germinate and I was at the store and I thought, well, at the nursery, I'll just grab like the little six packs of them. And there were more than six in there, so. And then of course mine, some of them germinated, so I have a lot. These are jalapeno peppers. These are habanero, and these are candlelight peppers. So I'm gonna plant tomatoes along the middle here. That's the plan for today. All right, so some of these beds are empty. I'll show you what I have in them though. So I have, maybe let's start at the other end here. So at the same place, I picked up some cabbage because ours, again, just didn't germinate. And I picked up some celery because ours was very, very small. So I have those planted in here. I really wanted to do like a mix of products or vegetables, so I didn't have to use any netting. But as I was reworking our garden plan, this is just kind of how it ended up. So I've got the netting on it. It's doing well. Over here, we've got spinach and we've got onions in between them. And it's grown well. This one, uh, this is one of the first ones I planted. It's a mix of lettuce and carrots and it's very slowly growing and it's quite sporadic. I'm gonna have to reseed here. <coughs> Excuse me. In here we have onions amidst bok choy. Unfortunately, something is eating the bok choy. So, yeah, I don't know what, and it's just not growing too well, so we'll see how that does. And over here, we have onions that I bought from like bulb sets with spinach. Looks like someone left a flower in here. <laughs> so that's growing. Over here, we have potatoes. This is our first time doing potatoes. Um, at this location we did it a number of years ago so it's exciting to see all of those up over here <coughs> we have I'm trying to remember is this kale or lettuce this one is kale 
So this is all uh, kale, and this will be in the shade once things grow up. These are all peas that are coming up here. This one has lettuce in it and peas. And then over here, there's actually um, carrots. And same with over there. There's carrots in there as well. These are both lettuce under here. These are beans. So exciting to see them growing. So they're gonna come up and over and it's the same on this side. And then I have other things to plant here. This one is the kale and the lettuce. This is gonna have the pickling cucumbers up and over. So that's what's waiting to be planted there. Let's go back over here. <coughs> So in this one here, I have bush beans and I have carrots planted in between, I'm trying to just make the most of space. <laughs> and these are doing well. I have potatoes in here, which just starting, there's a few little sprouts coming up here and there. This one is beets and I don't know, they should all be about this size. And there's only a few. So I think I'm going to have to reseed this one. These are onions from an onion set. As well as spinach in between. It's doing well. And this one is potatoes. You can see quite a bit has grown already. So that's really exciting. And here's some of the wildflowers that are already blooming. I just love having flowers around so it's... So I'm going to get planting in here. I wanted to show you though, we have saved our eggshells for a number of months, dried them in the oven and then blended them. There's a few that didn't blend, but I like to put these on the beds, particularly when I'm planting tomatoes, but also um, just kind of around on the beds to help with pest control. I have one of our celery that's gotten decent size and it's been hardened off. So this is going to go out as well today. But then everything else will wait a few days. I love coming out here. I love working in the garden. I love seeing things grow. It's so exciting. Let me know how your garden is doing. And as always, if you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, though, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.